All right, and we're back. We're gonna be doing Colossus number five. So every four Colossi you kill, you get another cutscene that's story relevant, by the way. This one is pretty cool. I genuinely like it. Also notice we're a little bit paler than we were last time. So keep paying attention to every uh, four cutscenes. You'll start to see that uh, Wander does change in appearance as the game goes on. It's a very subtle thing that you don't notice it at first until you're pretty close to the end of the game. You're like, holy shit, I look ill. <laughs> so, all right, this one is... Quite a few people's favorite that I've noticed as well in terms of online circles, but I, I can see why. This one's very high up there with some of my favorites. This would be like my third or fourth favorite if I had to rank them in any particular order. Like, this one coming up is just badass. I mean, it's majestic, it's cool, it's a really fun design, and it's just, it's memorable. There's a reason people like this one. And there's a reason people like this game, it's fucking great. Also, I love this... This is just the shit that looks like where I grew up, you know? This is why this game is so cool to me sometimes. I grew up in rural Oregon, so a lot of this stuff looks so... It's just right like home. And by the way, I'm just holding X, I'm not actually moving uh, the horse. So... <sighs> I love these kinds of games so much. So, by the way, this is our first time doing this. This is, a. Uh, oh boy, so this is where we're going to get our extra stamina from. So this is a save shrine, and what we're looking for is a lizardy bastard who's probably right there if I had to guess. No? I don't know where he went yet. So every single one of these shrines has a lizard on it. I think there's maybe like one that doesn't, and it's like in the vicinity of the shrine instead, but... I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, there's every single shrine has a lizard on it. It can change colors just like a lizard. Oh man, how many... How long does it take me to immediately start quoting Life Seeker? It doesn't take long, because they can only be banished by the Crystal Chalice. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, we're done with that. This is a serious game, okay? No fucking around, alright? So... These shrines are all the same, and this is totally, totally optional. But, since I actually want to climb the... Oh, there he is. The shrine at the end of the game, I want to do this. So, I want to get him in a position where I can actually harvest him really easily. Because if you're not careful, this can be a real pain in the ass. Aggro, you're... Yeah, this is... Okay, so I remember this really well. The first time my friend and me were playing this, he basically threw a bitch fit because this is one of the most infuriating things to deal with. But you get used to it. There's also a, um... There he is. This should be fine. There's also an item in the time trials mode called the exploding arrow. Or I think it's like shining arrow or something. Um... What that will do is it'll actually blow the fuck out of things like an explosion. I think it kills them in one hit. I haven't actually tried it myself, but you can launch yourself like in a fucking rocket jump with it. It's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. 
you don't need to get every single lizard to get like the tower like secret actually i don't even think it's a secret most people don't even know it's in the fucking game well i guess that makes it a secret unintentionally but um you don't need to do that but i strongly recommend doing it you need all the stamina you can get to do that so in my opinion some people complain about the lack of uh like enemies to fight and all that shit but i also think thematically in a game like this it doesn't make sense that there'd be enemies to fight there's nothing here the only things here are the colossi you and a couple of wild animals i think that really is one thing this game sells really well it's a sense of isolation there doesn't need to be wild animals uh especially if you think about the ecology of this area we're talking about um you notice there's no natural predators uh i guess you could say the colossi but at the same time they don't appear to need to eat or drink or anything um also pay attention to the areas they're in too so well to an extent i think the flying ones i i mean i've seen people say that all the colossi arenas are actually prisons some of them yeah i can believe but then you have flying colossi and burrowing colossi so i don't really think that's a hundred percent like the uh case but at the same time it doesn't matter um it's up for debate i guess that's the best way to put it now one thing i can also point out is if you look at the ecology of this area um there's a lot of grass because there's well there's deer but we'll talk about that later um like there's just a fuckload of these lizards because there's nothing to kill them. That makes total sense. There's no wild predators here, just the Colossi. So this fight is just badass. <clears throat> I think this is personally, like I said, in like my top five or so. If only because it really gets you to start thinking a little bit more in terms of how to approach enemies. Because yeah, that's like the main thing of this game, right? You're killing Colossi. I mean, obviously they couldn't just have you do that whole run and jump on top of a big guy, stab him like in the head. That would get old pretty quick, so they had to mix the formula up a little bit. Now, this is something that I like to point out now. If you fuck these up, if you're going for time trials, just reset it. There is no way in hell you're going to fumble and then still get a good time. Um, there's no bronze, silver, whatever, but there is target times for every single one. If you fuck this one up, reset instantly. There's there's no coming back from this one. This and the uh, Leviathan one, I don't think you can even... You, you just can't. Oh, that's badass. And I like that. He just chills there and he's like, all right, buddy, come to me. Maybe he doesn't even know you're there. Who knows? I assume it knows you're there. But, god damn. See, like I said, this can give people the screaming willies and I don't blame them. There's no dangerous fish. You can't swim any deeper than what I'm doing right now. But, uh, this couple with the music always makes me think, this is just the coolest shit ever. Um, and there we get a better look at this guy. Yeah, he's a big boy. And, uh, well, they don't call it Shadow of the fucking, you know, tiny people, I guess is the best way to put it. Although, in retrospect, that would be kind of funny. In a horrible, horrible way. But, uh, so here we go. This one, pretty easy to figure out what you gotta do. We gotta get his attention. And I love this. First time I did this, I was like, oh shit, this is awesome. Okay, so once we get control again... Oh my god. So he has no actual, like, resets, I guess you can call it that. The only way you can reset with this fight is if you fuck it up. So, let's try and... Do not jump. If you jump, 
Ah, oh, Jesus. That's fine. This is totally fine. Like I said, if you're doing this in a speed run, you reset. That's like, you cannot come back from that. That's fine, though. I didn't really have a good start, otherwise I could have really just beat the shit out of him by now. I am dead serious. I probably could have gotten both of his wings by now. But, um... That's totally fine. That's a good example, though, of what I'm talking about. If you position yourself in a really bad way, you can absolutely just regret it instantly. And if you run out of air, or stamina, I guess, you don't actually take damage. You take, uh... You just can't swim fast. That's the thing. So we gotta piss him off again. That's not a big deal. Not a huge time loss, but if this was a time trial, I'd have reset. Alright, he should be coming around. But yeah, if you fuck this up, it's just not fun. Oh, god damn it. Really? I guess you do have to be on that middle pedestal. I've never really botched this after a while, but it's fine. It's Let's Play Curse, I guess. He should be... yeah, there we go. Like, he comes down a second time. Okay. So, this is why I was like, do not fucking... What the hell? I, <laughs> I didn't know what the fucking... Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Wow. Okay, so... We need to get to his wings, obviously. That's his weak spots. Dear God. I don't like how this is going right now. Uh... This gives me the willies, it really does. So, just hold on to him. If you don't move, you don't lose grip strength. Okay, and then just... Big, nice, juicy stab on him, and that will kill it in one hit. You do not want to try and go for very long on this, because if you do, you'll lose stamina and you'll fall off. So wait till he levels out, you'll hear him make that sound. That roar! And then we can go back to, uh, climbing. Do not try to jump, because if you try to jump, the air current will actually knock you off. So just stay on his kind of midsection here. Now, I don't trust this. Yeah, that's right. I, I was pretty good on that one. Nothing in this game is very random. Big stab on him. I fucked up the start, but you can see it's not that hard. Okay. I don't trust this yet. Okay. Good, good, good. Do not try to jump. I cannot stress enough. My instincts tell me to jump. But that is actually a very, very dumb and dangerous idea. So now we gotta get to his tail. The very, very back end of his tail is the last spot. He doesn't have any shake attack here either. Oh god. This one is a fucking awesome fight, though. Come on, Snake Eater his ass. Ugh! Also, you cannot be killed in these animations, uh, because the game just won't let you die. So every time you fall off of one, in like these scripted cutscenes, you'll never actually take enough damage to die. Same thing with the very last Colossus, where you can actually fall off of it and die. That doesn't happen. But yeah, that's this one. And now we're just alone in the... the depths of hell, basically. Huh. So that's how I look if I was a fish. Look tasty, I guess. And that's what would happen if I was a fish, honestly. Good times. And I will see you in the next one.